Most people know that there are federal and state governments, with the federal government operating out of Washington, D.C., and the various state governments operating out of the different state capitals. Many people do not realize, however, that there are two entirely separate court systems as well. When most people think of court, they are largely thinking of their local state court. State courts are generally located in every county in a state, or if a state does not have counties in the local parish or what have you. State courts are courts of general jurisdiction, meaning they can hear all claims that can be tried in court other than those of exclusive jurisdiction in federal courts. State court systems have either two or three different levels of courts. There are trial courts, meaning courts where a case can be heard before a judge or a jury, a factual record developed, and a decision on the merits can be had. All states have at least one appellate level as well, and most have two appellate levels. An intermediate appellate court system that supervises the various trial courts, and a supreme court or highest court that renders the final decision on various state laws. For example, in Illinois, trial courts are called circuit courts, such as the Circuit Court for Cook County or the Circuit Court for the 18th Judicial Circuit, which is also known as the Circuit Court for DuPage County. Above the trial courts are intermediate appellate courts, called district courts. There are several district courts, each of which supervises trial circuit courts in a certain geographical area of the state. And the top is the Illinois Supreme Court. For most people, the only court they'll ever see is a state court. Most criminal matters, including traffic tickets, are handled in state courts. Family matters, including adoptions and divorce, take place in state courts as well, and most personal injury matters are tried in state courts. Most business disputes, even some very complicated ones, are also tried in state courts. The highest court of any state will have the final say on any matter of state law. For example, the Illinois Supreme Court has the final say on personal injury law in Illinois, as well as the Illinois Code of Evidence and the Illinois Code of Civil Procedure and matters involving the Illinois Constitution. Federal courts are a little bit different. Federal courts are courts of limited jurisdiction. It means you have to establish subject matter jurisdiction to have your matter heard in federal court. Generally, federal courts hear cases that raise a federal question or in which something called diversity jurisdiction can be established. For the most part, that means that the plaintiff and defendants have to reside in different states, and the dollar value of the case has to be over a certain amount. There are three levels to the federal court system. Federal trial courts are called district courts. Every state has at least one district court, and most states have several. For example, Illinois has three separate district courts. The United States District Court for the Southern District of Illinois, the United States District Court for the Central District of Illinois, and the United States District Court for the Northern District of Illinois. In addition, each district court can have multiple divisions, which really means courthouses. The Northern District of Illinois has an Eastern Division, which refers to the courthouse located in downtown Chicago, and the Western Division, which refers to the courthouse located in Rockford. The intermediate appellate courts are called circuit courts. There are 13 circuit courts with most covering a specific geographic area and the Circuit Court of Appeals for the Federal Circuit covering certain specialized subjects such as patents and veterans affairs. Finally, at the top, we have the United States Supreme Court, which has the final say on all matters touching on federal law, including the U.S. Constitution. Most people will never see the inside of a federal courtroom. However, there are many federal laws that impact people's everyday lives, immigration, the America Cares Act, all matters dealing with patents and copyrights, just to name a few. All those matters and many others are relegated to the federal courts. There are some additional matters I did not cover. For example, there are federal bankruptcy courts that operate a little bit differently. There is an entire system of administrative panels and courts that I have not covered, and some other stuff as well. However, this video provided an overview that covers about 90% of what law students learn on this subject. If you found this video informative, please leave a like. And if you'd like more content like this, as well as analysis of important legal matters and topics, please subscribe and turn on notifications. It really helps the channel out when you do. Last but certainly not least, take care of yourselves and your loved ones and have a great day. Bye-bye.